Okay, so now we're going to look at titrations. And uh, we're going to focus mostly on um, titrations of weak acids with strong bases or weak bases with strong acids. But I'll start off with a, a strong acid base titration. So if we have 50 mLs of 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid, and we have added 25 mLs of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide, what is our pH of this? Um, so titration is the process of adding one reactant slowly to another reactant. Uh, and usually we have an indicator to tell us when we put the equivalence point where we might be monitoring it with a pH meter. Uh, so this is not a complete titration yet. That's, we have not hit the equivalence point, but uh, we'll see exactly where we are with this calculation. So first we want to calculate moles. So molarity times volume in liters gives us uh, 0.005 moles of hydrochloric acid. Uh, and then um, 0.1 more times the 0.025 liters will give us 0.0025 moles of sodium hydroxide. So we want to do the neutralization reaction next. So um, hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide uh, react strongly. Uh, so this reaction will go to completion. And we put in our moles, and we see that sodium hydroxide is a smaller mole, so it will be consumed up completely. So we're subtracting off a 0.0025 from both reactants. And we don't care about the products in this case. The sodium chloride or the water, neither one will be affecting the pH of the solution. So we see that sodium hydroxide goes down to zero, and we'll end up with 0.0025 moles of the hydrochloric acid. So strong acid, we just want to figure out molarity and then calculate pH on that. So we have 50 plus 25, 75 mLs, or 0 0.075 liters. Divide our moles by liter, we get our molarity of hydrochloric acid, which equals the hydronium ion. Then the negative log of that gives our pH of 1.48. So another calculation of the strong acid base. So now we still have our 50 mLs of the 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid. Um, but we have now 55 mLs of the 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. To calculate our moles, we have 0 0.005 moles of the hydrochloric acid, 0 0.0055 moles of sodium hydroxide. We do our neutralization, neutralization reaction. Now we see that the hydrochloric acid is limiting reaction. That goes down to zero. We subtract off that many moles from sodium hydroxide, we left 0 0.0005 moles. We add the two volumes, 50 plus 55 will give us 105 liters, or 0 0.1, 105 mLs, or 0 0.105 liters. Moles divided by liters will give us our molarity of hydroxide, so 4.76 times 10 minus 3 molarity. Negative base 10 log of that will give us our pOH, 2.32. Sub that, subtract that from 14 and get our pH of 11.68. So this is typ typical of strong acid-based titrations. We generally have low pHs until we hit the equivalence point, then jumps dramatically, and we end up with high pHs after the equivalence point. Now for a weak acid, in this case we have 20 mLs of a 0 0.20 molar formic acid. We have added 15 mLs of the 0 0.20 molar potassium hydroxide. The Ka for the formic acid is 1.77 times 10 minus 4. So for the weak acids, not only, only do we need the volumes, but we need the Ka for the acid. So our first step is we want to calculate our moles. Uh, so molarity times liters will give us moles. We have 0 0.004 moles of the formic acid, 0 0.003 of the potassium hydroxide. The neutralization reaction is a very large equilibrium constant. It's going to go to completion. We put in the moles that we have. We see that the limiting reaction is the hydroxide. It's going to go down to zero. We subtract that 0 0.003 off the formic acid and add it onto the formate ion. So we end up with 0 0.001 moles of the uh, formic acid, 0 0.003 moles of the formate ion. But we have a weak acid and its conjugate base, so we have a buffer system. So we can use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation 
um, which is an easier type of calculation to do. We need a pKa for that equation. That's the negative base ten log of the Ka. So that gives us 3.75 for the pKa. We're allowed to use moles in our Henderson Hasselbach, so we don't have to convert them back into molarity. We don't have to worry about the total volume that we have. So we end up with a 3.75 plus a 0.48 for a pH of 4.23. So we have a higher pH, and this is typical of weak acids in titration with strong bases. We start off with a higher pH. Uh, it will change a little bit more than the uh, strong acid will uh, during the addition of sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. And then the jump up at equilibrium at uh, the equivalence point will be a smaller jump than it will be with the strong acid bases. So let's do another titration here. So we're using the same formic acid and potassium hydroxide. I still have 20 ml of 0.2 molar formic acid and 24 ml of 0.2 molar potassium hydroxide. So that gives me a total of 44 ml. I got my Ka 1.77 times n minus 4. So the first step we want to calculate our moles. So molarity times liters gives us our moles. We have 0 0.004 moles of the formic acid, 0 0.0048 moles of potassium hydroxide. We do our neutralization reaction. So weak acid with a strong base still goes to completion. It has a very large equilibrium constant. We put in our initial moles. We see that the formic acid now is the limiting reaction. It goes down to zero. We subtract that value off the hydroxide. It goes down to 0 0.0048. And we add it onto the formate ion, so we end up with 0 0.004. So now we have a strong base and a weak base. The strong base is going to dominate the pH. So we're not going to worry about trying to do a KB calculation uh, using the weak base here. So we just convert our moles back into our molarity. So the 0 0.008 moles divided by the volume in liters, 0 0.044 liters. We get 0 0.0182 molarity for hydroxide. Negative base 10 log is 1.74 for the pOH. Subtract that from 14. And we end up with a pH of 12.26. So in this case, the hydroxide has used up all of the formate ions. So that means that we have exceeded the buffer capacity. And once we do that, then our pH will jump up. So buffers have a range that they work, but uh, they will be exceeded if we keep adding too much of base to the system or too much acid to the system. So let's do one more. Um, it's semi similar to uh, one of the homework problems, um, though a little bit harder than the homework problem. So, it's, okay, missed a, a unit here. So we have 12.5 ml of uh, 0.5 molar sulfuric acid. We're titrating that with sodium hydroxide and we've added 5 ml of 0.65 molar sodium hydroxide. We're asking what the pH is. So sulfuric acid is a Diprotic acid has two hydrogens. The first hydrogen is a strong acid, it comes off completely. The second hydrogen is the weak acid, and it will come off with the equilibrium constant of 1.2 times n minus 2. So we calculate our moles, molarity 0.5 times the volume in liters, 0 0.0125 liters, and 0 0.00625 moles of sulfuric acid. But that first hydrogen comes off completely. So that'll be the moles of the hydrogen ion going into this uh, problem. And it's also the moles of the hydrogen sulfate going into this problem. We calculate our moles of hydroxide the same way. And then we do our neutralization of the first hydrogen. It's already disassociated. So it's the hydronium ion. We're reacting with hydroxide. And when we do this, the moles of hydroxide are smaller. That's a limiting reactant, so it goes down to zero. We're left with some hydrogen ion left over. So now we're going to go into the equilibrium of the uh, ice box. So we have our 
uh, moles of the hydrogen sulfate are moles after neutralization of the hydrogen ion. We had no sulfate to begin with. We do our change variable minus x uh, for the sulfate, hydrogen sulfate, uh, plus x for hydrogen ion and sulfate. We write our equilibrium expression, set up our Ka, write in terms of the equilibrium expression. We rearrange it to get in the form of uh, AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. And then we calculate for X. Of course, uh, the quadratic gives us two X's. The other X in this case was negative. And um, we can't do a negative. So if we put a negative X in, we'll get a negative value for our sulfate. And negative concentrations do not make sense to us. So this is X. Our hydrogen ion is 0 0.003 plus x, so we do that, get 0 0.00696. But this is moles. So I'm up here working in moles. I didn't try to readjust for the volume effect here. So this is moles, so we have to divide by the new volume. So 12.5 plus 5 is 17.5, or 0 0.0175 liters. We end up with a molarity of uh, 0.398. We do the negative base 10 log of that, and we get a pH of a 0 